Tell me you're Albanian without telling them. This is my new job. <laughs> I came here for a new work. Uh, Shumpun. Your mom from Tirana, yeah? Yeah. Your father? Jirokastra. Uh, Jirokastra, they make small portion. <laughs> In Tirana, they make big portion. This is the jam. And yeah. how many hours are I gonna stay here now? Ooh, this is gonna be a long time. Till tomorrow morning. You see what I gotta do now for work? Nice. Oh, Baba, Chabu, what are you doing? Flee, flee, Baba. Don't flee, don't flee. I'm going to speak in Wait, 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 wait. I used to make cheese too. Are you sure you make a cheese with this watch? I'm going to make a cheese with this watch. I'm going to make a cheese with this watch. I'm going to make a cheese with this watch. I'm going to make a cheese with this watch. I'm going to make a cheese with this watch. I'm going to make a cheese with this watch. I'm going to make a cheese with this watch. I'm going to make a cheese with this watch. I'm going to make a cheese with this watch. I'm going to make a cheese with this watch. This is the communism label, like yeah. 35 years the Persia Party. And we're Roja. And we're hey, we're Roja, yeah. Yeah. Roja. yeah, this is all the jams here. This is my friend Alten. He's gonna show more cheeses to us. Yeah, 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 bye. Yeah, 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 This is the point. This is all vacuum. Everything vacuum we keep here. And other freezers I show you the fridge. The same with the my cheese. The yeah. Vacuum. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for a living? Cheese! Diaf! Diaf! Bro, Diaf! No! Diaf! 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 Yeah, yeah, Tata. Tata. We just got here. Another one is uh, called the grandmother. It's labeled Ia. Yeah. And this is the other one. We call Krena, it means like proud. proud the, the girls, yeah. the woman's yeah. always proud. We go other ones, the, the Rocky, yeah. Kazerma. We have lots of other Basha. All the ones here. These bunkers are incredible. This is unbelievable. This Thank you. His brain. Is unbelievable. I mean this. Thank you. The, 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 it's unbelievable to, to even dream to make what you made here out of out of bunkers like this. Thank you. It's incredible. It's beautiful. It's it's so I, unique. I really, I, I really, it's it's really unique. It's incredible. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate There's it. There's no place in the world that has something like this. Thank you. Ah, this means yeah. to me a lot. Yeah. Proud to be Albanian, huh? Proud to be Albanian. Welcome to Albania. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna ask you just a few questions. What do you 
describe me, Albanian, one word? Albanian spectacular. There's no one word I could say about Albania. Our culture needs to promote more of our culture, not other cultures, because I give you an example. I sit here with you in a bunker. Your mind, not because you're sitting next to me, is unique. Elon Musk, certain people are very special with their thinking. Your mind thinking is extraordinary. There's not a lot of people that can even imagine putting this together, what you put together here. It's just incredible to me. And not because we come here, not because of, when I walk through here and I see what you did, it's, I, I, I couldn't even imagine myself even thinking about doing this. So I give you such a, a lot of respect for what you've done. Thank you, thank you very much. We are in this table, normally <clears throat> people put different things, but like we put like as a village, tomatoes, watermelon, cucumbers, white cheese, spring onions, to tell, uh, to be humble and to be nice, for me is the peace of the world. Well, for me, when I come here and I see your father in the garden, I see your mother working, your family and the traditions of our culture, in one place like this, so successful, it shows the rest of the Albanian community not to forget where we come from. And this is so important to me when people ask me, I'm so patriotic. I'm patriotic for exactly what your family is doing here. It's amazing. Thank you, thank you. And welcome to Albania with all my heart. And always seeing you and you promoting always Albania, it is what it is. It's like, we need to be proud of who we are. We did the song Proud to be Albanian for a reason. I know, I've seen all this and, all the time. And, and the reason why we started to talk about that is because no matter where an Albanian moves to, whether, whether it's the UK or America, we need to remember to be patriotic and teach our kids to be patriotic to our culture. No matter what, because we are special people. We have good hearts, we're strong. And we have such good qualities that, you know, I try to promote that around the world because sometimes people forget because somebody like myself that was living a negative life at one time. But there's always the, the, the ability to turn your life and change it. And this is what I try to promote to the kids and, and to our culture. Yeah, it's true. Always, sometimes I listen to the song, we are human. It's like always human. They are wrong, they are right, but still they are human. The human makes beautiful things in this world, I think. They are just, for me, called kindness, being to the... When I was back in England, when I came back here, I was always thinking, what's the different levels? Like, of course, you can take different culture, different things, you learn. Always to learn is good, every time, every second, yeah. every minute. But when you come here, you think like, yes, Albania needs to promote more, we have very good qualities, we have very good... To be honest, Albania is beautiful everywhere you walk. Oh, dear, dear, listen, you go to California, for the people that don't know around the world, California is mountains and, and sea. We have the most beautiful Mediterranean sea around with mountains all around this country. And the biggest thing that we're doing now, I think is the greatest thing we're doing is we exposed Albania to every country now. You see people coming here from France, from Norway, from Germany, from all over the world, from Japan. I've met people around every country that, that speaks to me, obviously, because I'm in the media. And when I came here and I said, let's do a podcast with you here, it was something I said is gonna be very special. Just because we're sitting in, in a bunker. When Hoja first did you, could anybody ever think back then when we were, we were sitting in a communist country, that this would become one of the most beautiful restaurants in Albania. It's, it's amazing. When you think about how things come full circle. For me, and, uh, for me it's very meaning. People say this to me, what I've done. And really I've been so appreciated to all the people comes and visiting and telling, well done. Normally when you be proud, well done, to, when your family says to this, you really mean that they're very well done, but when the people like you and other people say all the time, well done, I feel like, really, thank you, but this is my heart in here, this is my, you saw my family here, it's like, all, every step you walk, it's like, all my family in it, that's very important. But the thing too is you stay so humble. 
and your family is very humble. And your father's very funny. Yeah, he's very. People yeah. are going to see some of the clips, and, and you know, but the, to stay humble like this is very important, and and for people to see, and that's why you have. I mean, you have everything here. You even have housing, that's incredible. That's so unique, and you you kept the history behind all this, which is just amazing. That you didn't, you had the understanding. Like I said, I don't think you could have brought in fifty architects that would have thought to do what you just did here. It's just uh, just really amazing situation for people to come. If they ever see this, they need to come here from wherever they are and walk around and, and, and see what you've done here in the restaurant business. It's just uh, incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, as just you said before, my family and me and humble always listen to my dad's words. Son, wherever you go, you be on the top of the world. Be who you are. This is always, and never till my, da my dad dies, I'll keep this word to him, and I will respect his decision to make for me, like, hey, Isman, whatever you do, you can reach everything, but still, who is this? Most of the people, maybe in Albania, think I'm a kind of person to show off, but I don't, people who knows me, they don't say that, but people now, because we are, like in social media, people see us, uh, but they misunderstand this, you know, who work hard to make these decisions, visions, you know, because most of the people, uh, I can say to, my, to myself, whoever wants to work, whoever wants to do something, can do it, even slowly, slowly, day by day, but at least make yourself proud, make yourself like positive, we win, we win. In business, it's not always you win. Always, sometimes, 80% you lose, 20% you win. Maybe 90% you win, 10% you lose. That's a business we call, don't be afraid. Yeah. That's, that's the thing, is don't be afraid and tell the world or tell to the, whoever comes here, the reality. What was before, what was before, what was now. The important now, everyone knows what was before. Yeah. But important now, what is now? People coming, visiting, as you said, making the podcast here, like with the white cheese, watermelons, like a village con yeah. concept, like telling to everyone, like, this is who you are. You've been a bad guy before, but you're a very good guy now. You, you understand, we talked as before, everyone in this life, what kind of persons we make mistakes, when a person, we are the persons who understand the right things in the life. Yeah. And thank you for coming. And well, you're welcome. Well, God makes certain things for all of us. Yes, it's true. true. Every day. And the people that know that, that uh, we all have a purpose. And uh, for the people that don't agree with us, there's a lot of places in here we can hide them. And <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we got a joke. But uh, seriously, all your employees love you, love your, your, your family. And when you walk around here, yeah, everybody's happy. For the people who don't know, they have areas to play for the kids. You have the water that goes through here. You have apartments. You have ice cream places. You have stations. I mean, the, the, the terrain here is just amazing with the flowers and the trees and the road. And even the lighting as you're walking with the helmets. It's just inc incredible what you thought about. And like I said, I used Elon Musk as an example of somebody that sees the future way ahead of uh, somebody else. It's just your mind that the way it works is just, if it was me, it would be uh, still a bunker. <laughs> you know, it's just, yeah, no. you, 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 I think you don't give yourself the credit that really that it's uh, what you should, of what you accomplished here. And for people that, that not just from Albania, when they see this, that table I saw earlier, the people were from France. They were so amazed about you, what you've done here. And this is the, the proudness that the rest of Albania should be proud because every time there's another successful Albania like yourself, it builds the rest of us up. And it shows something unique in the quality of Albanians. Thank you. I'm going to bring the video to John later, thank you again. Now. I'm not going to give you the wine today because I'm going to give you iron. Like, we are in a village here. 
You can have some of the white cheeses. We're gonna have the white cheese again? Yeah. Can I have the watch with the white cheese? Yeah. <laughs> can I have that watch? Show them that watch. Go, go. <laughs> I gotta go back to this watch. <laughs> this is hard work with white cheese. <laughs> 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 What's your favorite food in Albania? Well, I have so many favorite foods in Albania. In the, for breakfast, I used to like to eat the petalas, the uh, mata de bushera. I love, I love bidek naturally, choftes. Uh, so the lamb. Is uh, spectacular. Actually, the lamb I had today was incredible. I don't know what you did to it, but whatever you did to it was one of the best lambs I've had in uh, probably ever. Which one is the most favorite city in Albania? Or tell me the truth. Be honest. You know, I'm from, my family's from Geocasta. So the first time I stepped foot in Geocasta, and I went to my grandfather's house, and the family let me in the house. It shows you the uniqueness of Albanian people and the hospitality. They opened their hearts. They knew my father when he was a baby. I was just, you, the feeling that comes over you to walk through the streets that your father and your grandfather grew up in, to me is always gonna be so special to me, so. It's Geocaster. Geocaster, the mountains, and you look down at the sea. Okay, the second one? The second one has to be, I would say, you know, so I go to, you know, to Tirana, to the city now, and it's beautiful. And when I'm in Tirana, it's like uh, a small version of Manhattan, where I grew up in New York, so. And they built uh, the streets up beautifully, you know, in Tirana also. Nice. Don't be shy, because you have to eat. You are in a village now. I don't stop eating since I'm here. <laughs> okay. I have another question. When was the first time you've been here in Albania? Uh, after I left the Borg in uh, the jail, the jail in about 2002 was the first time, about 25, 20 something years ago. Now you have I to came. tell me, still honest and the truth, what's different Tirana from 2002 till now? Oh, it's night and day. From 20 years ago, the, the advances this country has made in those 20 years is incredible. In the culture, in the food, in the infrastructure, in the understanding of how important Albania is to the world, all that changed in 20 years. It was a big difference from 20 years ago. That makes you proud? I'm so proud of Albania. Thank you. I think the same thing. When I came here in 2015, it's, everything has changed for me. It's, yeah. it's, getting, it's gonna get more change in Albania. Yeah. In the future, it's gonna be not because I wanna, not because us, we want to support the Tirana, but we need to be proud of Albania, most of them. Every piece, every piece of the cities of Albania is getting beautiful. One of my best friends, and th these guys know, are uh, Genti Toskesi. He was raised here, he went to school here, became a doctor here, and he became a, a, a world-renowned uh, neurologist, neurosurgeon. And he comes here, God, he's here all the time, I'm here all the time. So most of us, that whether we're raised here, our family were raised here, we never forget our culture. And people like him and yourself make me be able to talk to the, the public the way I do about successful stories and people that are, I'm very proud of. So this is one of the biggest things that came through Albania from years ago, from nothing. There's so many success stories around the world. So when I hear somebody talk negative about Albanians, I can speak highly about you, I can speak highly about Dr. Toscazi, and I can speak highly about so many other Albanians that make you very, very proud of this culture. Just one simple question. What do you suggest to Albanians who live abroad? I think the biggest suggestion I have to Albanians that live abroad is, is what I always say. Please don't forget the culture. No matter what, raise your children to remember how proud you are to be an Albanian. Our flag, and I'll use the United States as an example because I'm in America. I'm very patriotic to America. I'm very patriotic to President Trump.
but they burned the flag in our country. You'll never see our Albanian in this country burn the flag. We're so proud about our flag of our country. It's such a unique thing. And it makes you sad when you see a country, a great country like America, burning the flag. And here, I can't even imagine anybody doing that in Albania. They wouldn't do it. And this is one of the biggest things about Albanians. When people say, what's wrong with these people? They go crazy for their flag. And we take our hand and, and we do this around the world. And people know what this means around the world. And it's an azemar in, in us that everybody around the world says, this is such a small country, but yet such a proud country. I know you've been through long of story. You, you have to tell the story, you don't have to tell it here, but when you came out of the jail, how did you feel? When I came out of jail, you, when anybody I think comes out of prison, they breathe air in a different way. It's just, there's something different about the air that comes out. And I made a decision when I came out that I was gonna do something good. And how was I gonna do something good is to, to show especially our culture, that there's so many good other ways you can really be successful. And I've been on that path for a long time. And this is all I talk about is, is this, is to take the right path. Because if you take the wrong path, that, long, that, that shortcut you think you're taking is gonna take you a long way around. If you go direct on the right path, you end up successful like yourself and a lot of Albanians like you. Nice, well done. Now it's my turn to ask you some questions. What made you go into the restaurant business and to get involved in such a big project like this? Uh, I was like 17 years old when I was in England. Like everyone, like it's immigration. You know, everyone who goes surviving to, to live their lives, you know? My first job was like a kitchen porter, dishwasher. That's understanding the what restaurants mean, and now, who means to me to be or humble to my staff? It's like I've been in the low. I don't think I'm in the top, but I'm somewhere here. But a restaurant is kind of different business in 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 industry. It's like it's not as easy as people think. Uh, for me, it was very hard. You know how many times I told to myself, crying, I'm gonna leave this job because I too full depression, this, that, plates, knives, stuff like this. But one day I realized, like, you know what? What's my hope? What's my future? Just focus one thing. Going construction, I didn't like it. Focus on my my thing. I said, this is what I want to do. But I was very connected with the food. I used to love food. I used to love tasting the food. And it was like too much annoying to the head chefs who I used to work like, what's this, what's that, what's this, what's that? And they're like, hey, this man, just chill. Just go wash this, just leave us working here. But I was like curious, like, hey, I want to learn about this. Um, I have to thank God first. He gave me this this passion of what I love and this is for me open restaurant this kind of business hospitality it means a lot to me because you ever see that song by Drake started on the bottom yes started on the bottom mm -hmm. now to the top yeah there you go yeah thank and you and that's God and for the people that don't understand that and I believe a lot in God and we have a lot of things that have happened to us over life a lot of sad things but God gives us the strength to, to push on. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Believing in God is the most important thing to, the, to more the people. Another question is, what do you think about our Albanian people? I think, I grew up in a traditional Albanian family for the people who don't know. In the first floor of my house were my grandparents. In the basement were my aunt and uncle. My hubba was upstairs and we were in the middle floor and my cousins next door. So we grew up very traditional Albanian. They only spoke Albanian, they only cooked Albanian food. So when I grew up, I was around a lot of Albanian women. And I have such respect for the strength of Albanian women that people forget about the beautiful women we have in this culture. And they work hard, intelligent, good mothers. 
And this is one of the qualities also that, you know, people say, what attracts you to Albania? Is just the quality of woman is, and the, the quality of the ability to understand what family means in our culture. True. From our grandparents and our mothers and to our sisters, to our, is very important that people forget when the, you know, the women are special to me in this country. So well done. So as a kid, when you went to the UK, and you seen the Albanians from another country. What did you think about the, the way they carried themselves? Do you think they forgot the culture in the UK compared to what's the Albanians here? Do you think there's a reason why some of the Albanians are, are not uh, following the same culture that we were raised upon? Well, this is a very tough, tough question. question. Tough question. For me, uh, I don't know really. But I think 80% no, maybe 20% they forget. They maybe been so pissed of here or something else. But one thing I, I say to myself, whoever Albanian is, whole world, they never forget. Yeah. yeah. This is family. This is our blood. This community, like Albanian is more, is very blessed what we have. One thing, I, one thing which was a lot of Albanian, it's they have the best welcoming in, in the world. If you come to Albania, whoever comes, it's very welcoming. It, it depends. If it's poor, just bread and tomatoes and cheese, they yeah, will, they will say welcome. You they come to my in. my house, my grandmother used to say, open the door, Mizede, Mizede and come yeah. in, Ulu. Ula, Ula, and then after they come out with the food, they come out with whatever you want. They come out, they serve you. We know I've, I've been, I've been through in England, in different other people, no Albanians. Just hello, hi, bye. We have this related with, 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 with the love. Now it depends what I'm talking. Different things. Uh, one thing is wrong to Albanian, which is I'm giving as advice. We, we, we don't need to judge people. We're not, we not nobody to judge people. We are human. We are blessed from the God. We are gifts of the God. So judging you, you did wrong before. I don't have to. You've been to the jail, you've been whatever you've done. It was your life. Now you realize what is good for your life. For me as well. I did work as a kitchen porter, work in the kitchen all my life. I did service. I, I went to the club collecting glasses but that was the life if the people ask you know which is important because people love to talk it's like they don't know you what was behind me they don't know me they're just like whoever i done ah uh, somebody help you or somebody does this so ask my heart or ask my family or ask their relatives or ask my best friends how i did it people is one thing which was I never loved about it's like just sitting at a table drinking coffee and journalists like this is met like this other like this like this and whoever is this is Albanian be proud of it is yeah it is I will tell you something very funny way story I'm not saying in a bad way I mean but I'm saying like if it's Nusret you know Nusret yeah Soul, Soul B yeah Everyone, ah, oh, it's not <coughs> Nusret, it's, 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 it's all right. It's from other country, he's from Turkey. Ah, oh, him, him. If it's Ismet or other colleagues here, they have beautiful restaurants, very, very good restaurants. In Fishta, wherever they have, in Tirana, they make very nice restaurants. Where they bring people to understand with the real food. Uh, him, oh, him. No, be proud, whoever is, is your Albanian. Does it make any change? Does it make you change if it's like this, you know? There's one advice I can give to all Albanians if I have to give advice. And I talk about the chief foods. They always help each other. They always stick together. They always encourage each other. And in our culture, we need to do the same. Don't be jealous of the next person. Help the next person. Be proud of the next person. Be happy he's successful. And if you want to be like him, just follow him. But don't uh, talk against them, you know, just be who, who, for me, 
if I want to teach any young kid, I'm going to use you because we're sitting here and you're very successful now and you're a businessman and you're humble and you work hard. If I had to tell every kid that I seen on the street, how do you be successful? Go watch him. I told him to go watch you. Whatever you do every day, you did something right so they can learn from you and you can follow. So all your workers, if they work with you just the way you started on the bottom, eventually they're going to go to the top too. And it's in our culture. We have the strength. We got a strong, strong. This is the, the biggest, you know, I say this a lot on my show for the people that watch my YouTube show. I talk about we have two, two, two qualities. We have very strong hearts. It's true. But we have very hot tempers. And it's a good quality, the hot temper, when we need to protect our families and when we were a small country and we've been through a lot of suppression and communism, but it's also to control our hot temper and use it in a good way, not a bad way. And if that's my advice when I talk to people on the street or I talk to young kids, you know, they need to be able to follow somebody like you, the doctor and uh, so many other successful Albanians that through sports and through music and anything that's positive. And I think this is the advice all of us as we keep moving on in life, because this is the advice God would want us to give the next it's person. True. It's true. It's true. Thank you very much. Thank for you for having me in your house. You're welcome. Anytime. Thank you. Tell me you're Albanian without telling me you're Albanian. This is during the communism, huh? Yes. Look at the landmines. I hope these are, they're not detonated anymore. No, they still. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Something. These bunkers are incredible. Incredible. Which People one? never see this in their lives. You know? That's 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 the thing I want to do here. Yeah. People, whoever comes here says, wow, it's something on it. This is amazing. This is PlayStation. It's got no, for the kids when they come, huh? Yeah, they play sometimes. You know who did this one? No. This guy. I swear to God. Really? Yeah. Thank you, Bob. Why do you want to play the moto? Yeah. Yeah. You're the Bok. 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 Yeah, yeah. I'm the Bok. You're the Bok. You're the Bok. Jen bo prej dur vet mi e këto, që shëpë t'i krejt këto. All together, I help him, but everything was my design, but he helped me a lot. Po, e mora është problemim. E mora është. I bought, I bought his present, this was. But you have me now. Po, pa heavy. Jo, jo, e heavy, jo të tërë. Ja, është të gëni shumë. E heavy, heavy, që e heavy, 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 jo. Si është e mi lundë të qërë kumër me qërë në tratë i kështo? Exactly.